Oh, so Rob, we're here at the uh, Alltech FEI World Equestrian Games. What have the facilities been like for the team? Oh, the facilities are good. It's, it's, everything is a little bit far uh, out of each other. It's a long, a long walk. And the first when we came here, it was uh, a bit looking where we want to go, that we don't uh, spill too much energy. But uh, for the moment, it looks really, uh, really well. The stables are well. The, the warm-up arenas are well. Uh, the facility uh, where, where, where the show jumping has to be, is, is, I think, is, is perfect. And your riders are down on this arena warming up. Uh, it's probably fair to say you didn't have the best preparation in the summer building up to this in the Maiden FER Nations Cup Series, but you came out with a great win in Dublin. Um, what's your team here? I brought the same team as uh, what, what gave me the win, the victory in, um, in uh, Dublin. Uh, because we had, we had a tough season and a lot of horses, uh, a couple of horses sold, a couple of horses injured, uh, a couple of horses maybe not that good uh, as what we thought in the beginning. By that point it was real difficult to stay in the top league. So we, uh, we, are, yeah, we were straight from the beginning, from La Ball and going on, going on, always in the end. So we needed uh, a couple of really good results, but we had uh, eventually in, in Rotterdam. Uh, we had a good uh, uh, second place in Falsterbo, uh, and we, we finished really well with, with that moment, the strongest team we, we uh, could get with a victory in, uh, in Dublin. It was the whole season of looking, finding for new combinations, giving new combinations an, uh, an opportunity. Um, also, the, 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 the younger ones, uh, not do too much with them, uh, leaving Aachen out for the, for, the, for the top league and also for the Grand Prix. And in the end, it brought the success that we needed to stay in the league. And I hope uh, it looks well now. Um, we have the same uh, group of riders here what we had in, in Dublin. Uh, except the number five, Leopold van Asten with VDL, Hope Santana I was injured just one day before we uh, we had to leave, so there was no other opportunity uh, on on a short range to to bring another fifth member up. So that was still a bit difficult for us uh, coming on the flight to here, uh, see how everything goes, how the horses are uh, when they're coming off the plane. But everything for the moment is right, so we hope for a good competition. Well, we're sitting here looking down at the uh, Rolex Arena. Your, your riders are out there warming up. What do you think of the arena? Yeah, I must say I'm, 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 I'm surprised that it's not so small because in the, in the schedule it said it was uh, uh, a little bit bigger than, uh, than, uh, than a big indoor arena. Uh, but I heard just uh, today that, uh, that they didn't sold that many tickets that they made uh, the arena a bit longer on both sides. So uh, the arena is perfect now, the size and everything, the footing is perfect, so I think we can have a real good battle here. You're, you are defending champions, um, that famous victory in Arken for you. Who do you think is going to be challenging for this uh, title? I must say that um, I, I have a small feeling that, it, that it's quite open that we have a couple of countries who are, who are really uh, uh, in, in, in a really good position. I must say uh, USA is always strong. France had a, a, a tremendous uh, season, They're having really good horses and really good riders. Um, all the other countries, I think, I think it's a bit of an open battle and, and uh, I think that's also nice. It's uh, not that we are with our team for sure not uh, the favourites, but that was the same when we were in Aachen in 2006. Um, but I must say it could be uh, su surprising here, and that's nice for the show jump. And of course we've been following the Europeans and the USA team on that Maidan FBI Nations Cup series throughout the summer. Who else from the world game is here that you think could challenge for team and individual? Uh, you mustn't uh, uh, underestimate uh, Canada. Um, I think Brazil is also with a really strong team here. Australia having a couple of really nice. So, so I must say this is also the nice thing that it's not only uh, uh, the European countries and the US of A, US of a uh, but there are more countries who are at the moment really strong and they're building up really well. And uh, that's what I said in the beginning. I think it's open, uh, open and, 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 and really exciting competition. And of course, in Arkham, the Ukraine were the wild cards, weren't they? They bought a lot of horses and they. They did really well in that championship. Who, who do you think, maybe coming from behind, that might surprise us? Yeah, maybe the Ukraine is only a three riders here, what I saw on the list. And um, okay, then then you have a bit of a disadvantage if you have only three in a team competition. Then nothing, 
is allowed to happen, then you need to make uh, with all three riders uh, uh, three days really strong and good performance. Um, all the other countries, yeah, I must say, uh, um, I'm so busy in the summer with, with all the, 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 the top league shows and you don't have so much uh, uh, time to go to other shows, but I must say, yeah, like, like Mexico is always uh, a, a couple of countries, yeah. And individually, who are you looking at? And I know you obviously that you're the chef, Dutch chef to keep, but do you look at other horse, other horses from other nations and think that would be nice on the team? I think there are a lot of really good combinations. What we saw also during the summer, like uh, like McLean Ward, uh, he's in really good shape. Uh, the Americans, I think they're having a couple of horses who can who can also go for the individual uh, title. Uh, this Eric Lamas with with, with Hickstead is, is in a tremendously form. He won Ark and, and he did a lot of a lot of uh, really good things. And uh, Peter Schwitz, I must say, he, the, the Swiss team was not really uh, happy during the, the, the season, so they dropped out of the top league. But that's a combination who is really high in the ranking and, and, and uh, he has a tremendously good horse. So I must say, and I hope, that um, our horses uh, for my own team, so I need to be uh, always in front of my team. Uh, okay, for the team, I must say, we, have, uh, uh, we are not out of line. And, and uh, for the individual, I must say, maybe our horses, except from uh, Exquise Walne de Muse from Harry Smolders, but the rest are quite young horses. So uh, I'll we wait and see.